How to install Windows 11 on a Lenovo laptop. All you'll need is your laptop, the laptop's charger, and a USB that's at least 8GB. If you would like to follow our written guide at the same time, or for clickable links we reference, the link to our blog that this video is based off of is in the description. If you find guides like this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. These are the current system requirements for Windows 11. Check Microsoft's website for up-to-date requirements as these are likely to change in the future. You have two options when installing Windows 11. Option 1 is using Windows Update. This is the easier of the two, and afterwards you will have the option of reverting back to Windows 10 within 10 days if you change your mind. After the 10 days, you'll need to back up your data and do a clean install to move back to Windows 10. You should not lose any data when updating this way, but we recommend you make a backup just to be safe. If your system is compatible, it may be possible to upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11 through Windows Updates. Simply access the Windows Update section of the Settings menu and look for an option to upgrade to Windows 11. If the option does not appear, download and install the PC Health Check app from Microsoft's website. Run the app and select Check Now under the Windows 11 section. The app should tell you whether or not your system can run Windows 11. If there are compatibility issues, you will not be able to install Windows 11 officially until any issues have been resolved. If you are running Windows 10, don't worry as it will still receive support until October 2025. Option 2. A clean install. This method doesn't allow you to revert back to Windows 10 afterwards. If you want to go back, you'll need to do a clean install of Windows 10. All data on both your PC and the installation media you created will also be deleted during the process. Part 1. Download what you'll need. Use Microsoft's free Windows 11 installation media tool to create a Windows 11 boot USB. The USB has to be at least 8GB in size. As we are performing a clean install of Windows 11, the drive Windows is installed on will be wiped of any data, so make sure to back up any data you wish to keep on either a removable drive or in-cloud storage. Once the USB has been created using the tool, make a new folder. Call it Lenovo Drivers to be simple. You can use other names as long as it does not clash with any folder name that's already there. This folder is intended to hold the optional drivers for you to install later. Skip this step if your laptop does not have a dedicated graphics card. Download the graphics driver into the folder where applicable. For NVIDIA graphics cards, go to NVIDIA's website and download the graphics driver. Select the graphics card model. For example, on ZBook Studio G7, it would be Quadro, Quadro Series Notebooks, Quadro T2000. Download the Wi-Fi drivers as well, as some laptops may not have compatible drivers once Windows is reinstalled, and you'll be unable to connect to the internet without them. Part 2. Back up all your data. The method we will be demonstrating is a clean install of Windows 11, meaning any data on the system will be erased. However, if you're upgrading from Windows 10's update screen, it is still advised to back up any data to a separate device in case it gets lost during the process. Part 3. Power and BIOS reset. Turn the laptop on, insert the charger, and reset the laptop. If you receive a message stating that the charger is incompatible, we recommend using a different charger to see if the message persists. This message can appear if the charger you were using is an inadequate wattage. Remove the AC charger from the laptop, and where applicable, also remove the battery. Now, press down the power button for 30 seconds. Then, connect the AC charger in without reconnecting the battery. Turn on your laptop. Once you have booted into your operating system, hold the power button on the system. Do not shut down from Windows. Turn on your laptop again, and press the Enter key when prompted. Follow the on-screen instructions to enter the BIOS. This is usually the F1 key. When you're in the BIOS, press F9 to load default settings, then navigate to Restart, Exit Saving Changes. Part 4. Configuring the BIOS While previous versions of Windows could run in legacy, Windows 11 requires your system to be running in UEFI to be compatible. Follow the steps from 3C to enter the BIOS. Change the following settings in this order. Startup, UEFI, Legacy Boot to UEFI only. Security, Security Chip, TPM Enable. Security, Secure Boot, change Secure Boot to Enable. Startup, Boot, ensure that your boot drive is the highest on the list. This is usually the name of your SSD or hard drive. Restart, exit saving changes, or press F10 for save and exit. Part 5. Install Windows. Insert the Windows 11 USB you've made into your laptop. Shut down your PC, and while restarting it, Press escape until you enter the startup menu. Select your Windows 11 USB from this menu. Follow the on-screen instructions to install Windows 11. Make sure to delete the files on the drive containing the previous Windows installation. Part 6. Setting up Windows Once you're in Windows, install the graphics drivers first. Initially, the system will appear to be less responsive, or the internet may appear slow. This is because it is updating the drivers in the background. An idea is to leave the laptop for 10-15 to 15 minutes whilst it sets up. 
Depending on your internet speed, this could take longer. Open Windows Update, select Update if it doesn't automatically do so, and let it find more drivers. Restart once it requests. Open the Windows Store and download Lenovo Vantage. Use it to install the remaining updates automatically. Open Windows Device Manager, either by searching for Device Manager in the search bar or by holding the Windows key and pressing X and choosing Device Manager, and check if there are any devices missing under Other Devices. If any devices still do not have drivers, search for the drivers manually on the Lenovo website. Have you upgraded to Windows 11? What do you think of it? And if you haven't, what's stopping you? Sound off in the comments down below.